my lectures anyway. Because uh, from every indication, people are waiting to watch videos. When you post a video like what that guy posted in Telegram yesterday, they came and hijacked my Telegram account. And what they posted there in this channel, before I could check in two hours, about eight people have viewed it. So definitely means that a lot of people are in the Telegram channel waiting for videos to learn for them to view. Even those who have time are waiting to watch the videos. I want to tell you the truth. If you can't get up and come and sit and follow a live class, a lot of things will be difficult for you because you must analyze the market life. You need to have the, the motivation to do a lot of things as a trader. And once you have a community of people that are not taking things seriously, it plays now to the performance of your community. It plays to the performance of your academy. Just imagine that 80% or 90% of the people in both Forex were very active. Then you guys would have been seeing thousands of dollars traded on every single day in both Forex because we have a lot of traders in, in the community. Just imagine that just 90% of these people were trading. They would have created an amazing community where over 50% or over 100% share that chat idea on daily basis. But some people are just there, they observe, they keep watching what others are doing. They keep just like, okay, I'm waiting that they, they, it's morning so that Mr. B should send a chat on this chat. And they don't, they don't participate. A community of about 450% to have at least 200 traders communicating, sharing trading ideas on a daily basis. And that can make our community an explosive, profitable community. So we need to be serious. And I will have to stop recording videos because we need to stop trading people that are lazy. Yeah. So it goes does. So this zone makes a, some sense. But now it is advisable now because since we now see areas of interest like A, B, and C, it's now advisable because you now know how far the pullback can go. We now, it's now advisable for you to take some time now to give it, uh, to give it some key um, work, like to analyze the market in a certain depth. So, uh, if in the long term, okay, let's say the daily, weekly, we still expect the market to go up to this point. It means that currently the market can have an average movement either to the downside or upside. But what me and you are investigating, we know that in the long run, market is gonna go back up again before it falls. So if we investigate our market structure, perhaps let's say, uh, I just start here, okay. And then we have this. We just want to know the state of the market based on the market structural techniques. I uh, will have this here. And then this market which it breaks this structure. After breaking the structure, it came up here and then we had a very slight pullback somewhere around it. And, uh, and if you ask yourself a question, why do they go to hijack my telegram? It's just because they know that you are, a lot of people follows you and they believe in you. If they successfully get access either to my Facebook account or to my telegram account, in few, in few minutes, they'll be able to hack or to destroy a lot of people. They'll be able to like uh, get into a lot of people's computer, or get people's information or, or whatnot. So, you know, people don't sleep and definitely they always look for where there is something uh, valuable for them so that they can, they can go ahead and, and destroy people. But uh, so luckily I had my telegram locked into my, uh, to other devices that they could not lock out at those devices. So like, let's just say from here, we, we see that, okay, this market goes up to this level and then it created now this minimum low here.
because when you are doing your investigations, you have to be very, very smart, you know. You need to be, you need to be very tactical. So we have this here. So, so this is uh, like what we're having. Let me just make everything more a little bit accurate because where we are now is a little bit crucial to make keen decision for GU. And so not to be in any nonsense a trap. Okay. Uh, you see, you see, guys, that uh, based on the daily time frame, uh, this swing here wasn't broken, but now this other swing here was broken, so, and this high remained valid. Was also problems. So from every indication here, we now had a break of structure of this area here. Uh, this structure here, uh, was taken off, okay? So from every indication, it shows that this market have to, we need to see, we might see a very huge pullback in this market. And so for this M shape to completely validate and for us to find liquidity above it, it means that this market from here, from every indication here, there was a sign that we are gonna to have to pull back. So based on smart money concept, once a structure has been broken, we now begin to look for price that is gonna go back to what they call the origin. The origin is that trend, like that particular trend, that particular trend that break a structure, the beginning of that trend. So this was a particular trend that break structure. So the origin of the trend is quite important for you now to execute a trade. So definitely, the other block here, which was quite valid, is gonna be a very perfect zone for us to execute the sell. And you can see for yourself, market went inside directly into the origin. And so now market is in a short, is in a brief downtrend. And so this moment, since we now understand that, okay, before this M ship is gonna be validated, we, we might have uh, this market moving down for a certain period of time. And so it is of vital importance for you and I now to investigate in this particular movement, in this other movement that was like this other major pullback to know exactly where vital zones are. Top down analysis, now we break down a little bit further and we can now find some important zones like here we have a, a base, a rally base, uh, a rally base rally. So this zone is a little bit important. So you might fit it down when you do technical fitness, you might fit it down a little bit to the structure here. And so if you are selling GBP USD now, you might be thinking one thing, okay, this market, okay, since it was a sell opportunity here, uh, it can come down a little bit here or it can come down here, bounce and go back. So if I was selling here based on this tactic, then I should be able to exit my long-term position or any short-term position. I should not find myself trying to sell the market on this resistance because it will be dangerous for me. Secondly, I can see here that this here was a perfect sell to buy candle. This was another zone where the institutions did some manipulations and they were able to get people by this market. So this was the first sell to buy candle that they had here. So they was like taking the market up after they just went ahead, tricked it. And after it, because you, you can see here, this was a sell to buy candle as well, but the blue candle at this level didn't show much of an institutional action. It didn't actually cover the red one. So it was not really that institutional. But when you see it at this point here, you can see that this red candle here 
was totally engulfed by this blue one. So this here at this level now, it gives you an idea that, okay, price could come down to this level. So if I am you and I'm looking at, okay, I have now my bigger picture that uh, liquidity will be above this M shape and GBUSD in the long run can come back up again before it goes down. That's the market, how the market moves, you know. It doesn't just move as simple as you will see. You need to think this way as I'm thinking. You need to think a little bit smarter. So now I may now decide to validate the zones that I've been able to see, and I can put in my fifth level to identify or to investigate those structures. So if I put my fifth level there, if I go, I take Fibonacci, I take Fibonacci retracement there, and I come and put it here, then take it up. You guys are going to see that, okay, at least at this zone, I'm going to have a 50% retracement here and uh, a 61% retracement at this low here. So, and I know exactly from a smaller time frame, the pattern that can undergo before this market now get to this point here. So you can now see me now, I can now do a schedule, a schedule on my chat that this market is going to go like this, okay? It does this, an M shape, then it will come down a little bit here. And but when it will come down here, I'll be paying attention to this other smaller zone because it can come here, struggle to go up a little bit, then penetrate here and to clear out some of the liquidity that will be below this zone, or it could still come and bounce here. This day that the market get into this box, I'll avoid selling it inside this box. And I'll pay keen attention. I will rather try maybe to buy, but if I see the market come here a little bit, I can buy more, and I'll be expecting to see the market change in trend or probably give some way and then begin to move up bit by bit, bit by bit. And then when it comes up to this structure, I'll be expecting the market to break this structure to this level. So as a forex trader, I now anticipate a pattern for GU after investigating previous trends, finding key area of structures and seeing exactly what could happen for liquidity to be created. Because in every situation you find yourself, you must be able to think, how can liquidity be created? And so now that we know that we can now have an averagely sell trend, like for Monday, I already knew that this market will be selling from here. I knew this already. So I have been thinking only selling of GPUSD from this structure. So you see how good analytics are. Now, now that you now know a possible pattern for GU, you can remove it from your chat since you know already what you are looking at. Now, what we are now focused in doing is probably to trade this retracement, to trade this uh, short-term trend this average downtrend that we're having now for GU. And so we can now switch to smaller time frames now. And whenever a market is doing a pullback, you investigate like, okay, when this market came here the other day, market was about doing a retracement after the, the news that we had the, the last previous week. I was like, okay, this was my previous trend. And if this market is to pull back, where are my possible area of interest where this market can go? And definitely you can see here a buy to sell candle here. Eh? We can see here clearly a buy to sell candle. That gives you the intention that it, to me, when this market bought before and came to this level, when I was looking at the four hours, I knew that market must come back to the structure. And market did came back there whipped a little bit of liquidity slightly above it. And what happened? The market sells again massively. So the key secret here is to be able to identify key structures of interest. So when this market now comes here, for example, uh, because he, they understood that 
all the traders around the world are thinking of continuing to, they want to continue selling this market. But enough liquidity must be created, like they bring it close to the area, like what we are seeing here is what can manifest in the bigger time frame. So they bring it close to your area of interest, which is this box. When they bring the market close to the area of interest, now they begin to sell. But from every indication, they just want you to feel like you should start selling this market where rice is not tight. Because amateur traders, because people that are moved by movement, because there are some of you that don't analyze your chart. Once you come to the market today, you see the market have sold for two candles. You now begin to feel that you should just say as well. When you come and you see the market have bought for three candles, you just feel that the market should buy. I will tell you, not up to 40% of the people that trade every day pay thorough investigation when it comes to technical analysis. Most of them just rush over it. They just uh, uh, just put one support here, yeah, oh, just trade, uh, because uh, the market start buying, oh, just sell. My brother, if you do based on rationality, you will, net, you will never make profit. If you want to do your things based on random probabilities, then you can never be a profitable trader in the long run. You need to have your data be backed by fact from a top-down analytic perspective. So I know it is an average trend. And if I want to look at this structure, you need to be patient. When you say a setup, you need to be patient. Anybody that was patiently waiting for this setup, when the, the other day when news occurred, I saw the way after the news, this candle was rejected now from this my zone and close behind here. That's how I laugh. I say, wonderful. So my analysis has worked out. And if you go clearly from there, after that has been wicked out, it was just simply struggling to wick out because a lot of people, since this market came up here and then formed this structure, people now will be thinking of selling this market next time the market comes here. And automatically, they forget the real zones where their others have been left. And so they have successfully manipulated most of the traders around the world because you refuse to think the way you're supposed to have thought. And so you forget about the key structure you saw on the four hours. Because if you really ask somebody that what causes market to sell at this level, the person may not prove it to any significant, significant uh, smart concept. Because, okay, let's just assume, okay, you will say, okay, if you will, it is because of this support here. But this is not really something you should be looking at because this is neither a, a valid uh, way of thinking about demand and supply, nor a rally base rally, or anything like, it's not really that valid. It's just a, 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 a retail methodology of trading. So that structure, because if you want to look at what really pushed price away from there doesn't really make sense. And if you see, when price came to that structure, what was the reaction of price? I want to tell you, most of the zones where you are going to see market reacting with a huge, like where there were institutional order hanging there, when price always come there, you see market reacting greatly. This is an example here. When price came here, you see the first reaction to the downside. Another example is this structure beneath here. You see uh, this structure here, uh, when market came back into it, this candle, you see a very sharp movement away from that structure. So guys, you need to be able to identify because most of you will be manipulated. Because you think it's Forex is about support resistance and you just think that Forex is so simple uh, because you made $10 by mistake yesterday, you think you are a guru. I want to make you understand that every single day you come into the market, assume that you did not do anything previously. Just believe that what you did yesterday has been done and you can never do anything based on yesterday's performance. Yesterday's performance can never guarantee today's performance except you put in the work that will guarantee today's performance. So if you want to make profit today, you, it must only depend on what you do, will do today and not what you did yesterday. If you base your mind on the fact that you sold yesterday and you make profit and you just want to sell today to make profit, you're going to lose. If you want to base your mind on the, on the fact that you sold yesterday and you make $1,000 and you think you are a guru, you might definitely lose $2,000 today in the market, losing what you made yesterday and even your entire capital. So what you do is not based on rationality, it's based on the fact on the day, on that day. And that's why I don't use indicators because 
I want to focus on the price action. Like if you if we go down like to smaller time frames, you will see that you can justify most of the movement that occur here. So let's go uh, here from here. Anybody that sold here was simply based on a great techniques. And you can now realize that as this market begins to go down furthermore, you now can begin to treat this market with other smaller time frames, and you'll be grabbing very good uh, setups along the line. Uh, and here, if you want to look at this, you had a pullback here. And when this market is pulling up back, you probably may come to maybe the um, any time frame that is of value. And you can see clearly that uh, this, like this, because you need to investigate any time frame that you have, you need to investigate on any time frame. Like here, for example, we had a choppy base, which was one zone which this market come to. But what we see here, slightly beneath it, we have again another base. We have like three bases there. So we have another base here. And then we had another base here. So the institutional actions here were, were like, okay. So now the first person here, because you need to be basing your mind based on price action. So you see, you have three zones again of value that this market could pull back to. You have A, B, C. So when market comes to A, you see market now begin to behave as if you want to sell. And then unfortunately you see market now come down and they begin to buy. Automatically, you just need to understand that liquidity now will be above this your a so people's stop loss should be above here so now you now be, you now have the mindset that if i have a rapid price shift into my b and i have a clear reaction into b it means that liquidity that they wanted has been cleared or created and cleared so this market that can sell and you see what happens amateur traders now will we just be selling immediately they saw price reacting on a and the market now begin to sell. They will say, oh, market has met a, an, an OB and selling. At any level you find yourself, I want you to think of the possibility of liquidity being created and liquidity being cleared. Because if you now begin just to trade here without thinking of, okay, you are selling here, where has the liquidity been created? There's nothing that has been created yet. So you might find yourself in trouble. I cannot base myself on this zone here because this zone have no value. Yes, this zone, like I cannot justify why price reacted here with any significant or with any good trading technique. So that cannot be justified. So anything that is happening there does not concern me. But if it happens at A, B or C, it concerns me because I understand that those zones are valuable structures. You get me? So definitely I, I'm, I will focus my mind on what will happen on these key valuable structures. And for made of indication, when price came and wicked here yesterday, I still knew that, okay, it's done. And this market can start selling from here. So you that struggle to execute a trade, thinking a little bit well, or thinking a little bit about creating of liquidity and clearance of liquidity, then definitely you would have made profit selling GU yesterday. And allow me show you again, again and again and again, and you see the market sells off from this structure, and again it pulls back to this other end. And so we could have expected that market at least should come back here because this is a very clear zone on the 30 minutes. So market here, this actually occurred during abnormal market hours. This was already in the evening around 9 p.m. The London session is closed. So just we need to know that some abnormalities could occur. So like this morning, this market will open definitely. And if you were to continue selling GPUSD, then you now begin to investigate now key level of structure. So 
Like somebody could come here, okay? Another person will be looking at this structure here to sell. But me, I will likely not just sell this market here, even though I'm in a heavy downtrend, but I would like to expect a pullback that may be to come even at this level. And then I may even want to see it to start selling for a mass of people to get in this market and start selling so that they will provide now enough liquidity because these people that are selling, if we take price against them, they are going to close this market. And if you close a sell position, then you are bought. So they will be willing to buy this market now what? At the higher price. So that's just the concepts. This is what is happening every day. Like, okay, at this level here, these people needed some people to buy this market at this level for this downtrend to continue. So these people that saw this sell opportunity and sold, at the end of the day, they will become buyers because their stop loss are just slightly above here. So when you close a sell position in the forest exchange market, you are bought. So at the end of the day, these people will be willing to buy. When we take price against them, they'll be willing to buy at a higher rate. And so they have provided us the sell liquidity that we need because they are willing to buy from us at a higher price. And so this market does will sell. So steam here, this structure is quite important, but they, they, just, they can just come and wiki a little bit and make begin to sell mass of people will sell because they will say, oh, this is a resistance, the market is a downtrend, let me sell. You are not wrong selling the market. You're, you're good. You're good to go. But the question is, so if everybody thinks like you and sell this market the way you are selling and all the whole world sells the market, the way you simply saw the sell opportunity, then how, who would they buy the market from who then for, for other people to make profit? That is just a simple thing. Any setup, you need to think like this. So everybody's going to see a sell today if we have a pullback to this structure. Everybody will see the sell. If we have a pullback to this structure, everybody's going to see that sell. And everybody would like to take the sell. But me, Ronnie, I'm not going to take the sell. If like the market sell, I'm go full stop. I don't care. But I only care if the liquidity here is created and I see this market coming back to this structure, I will then smile and say, you people will see it. And you see, they will come and weak a little bit here, take a little bit up, and I'll be observing the reaction inside this box. When I have a sharp rejection inside this box, I will now say, voila, they have cleared their liquidity, they have closed their stop loss and market is about to sell. And now take my Excel execution here and why wait for it to go down. So you need to be smart. My main focus of today was to bring forth to you the steps that you need to take in identifying a particular market from a higher perspective and then trading in correlation with what you think from a higher time frame. So because we have seen that there's a great downside possibility for GPUSD and the downside possibility we are thinking for GPUSD, we have the first obstacle to be down here, which market has not arrived there. But before this market arrive here, we can see some little manifestation. Yesterday we saw a pullback that did a, at least a great motion for liquidity for, to be created for this market to continue selling. And today I am telling you that you can also see again, a great pullback today that would permit liquidity to be created for this market to get here. So that's what you think. So I cannot just come here in the morning and then because I see a sell spike, like boom, I just begin to sell. I, I could scrap this, but I cannot hold this for a long term. And I will advise you not to go for such opportunities. I want you to go for opportunities as a beginner trader, go for confirmed opportunities, go for setups that have some degree of judgment. That means you can justify why you sold at that level. As a beginner trader, some pro traders today, if this market is packed to the downside, they can quickly enter this market to make some profit because they're in a downtrend. But I want to tell you, in most of the time in a downtrend, we enter sell position after a buy reversal. That means after a retracement. We don't struggle to, to sell in pauses. Like, okay, like this person here, if he or she would have sold the market here, he will make money without waiting for a pullback. It's true. Okay, you with that same idea, you're in a downtrend, right? Rather, the same person will think again of selling the market here without waiting for a pullback. And the person will lose all of the money he or she made from this point. So at the end of the day, what will make you profitable in the long run is a technique 
that eliminate the chances of losing frequently and give you the possibility of earning frequently than losing frequently. And so the only way that you can end frequently is to trade with some degree of confirmation. So this is what I'm trying to explain to you. So no matter how the technical skills you've learned, the advanced trading you've learned, if you don't have now this managing, they call it the, 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 the skills of managing trade. You now could understand that you know the market direction very well, but you enter, they remove you, and after two hours, you see the market going in your direction. That means even you, though you knew the market direction, you couldn't still think smart because everybody will know. There is no idiot trading Forex. Most of the people trading Forex understand the principles of market structure, this and this and this. But now the problem lies in the in patience. Most Forex traders are not patient enough. They want to get up in the 6 a.m. They want that by 10, they should have made $100. Now you are pushed to enter trades where it has not been confirmed. The key things that you should take home today is patience. A Forex trader is patient. That means you see a setup come to your zone, eh? but you don't see trading. You say, okay, even though this setup has come to my zone, <coughs> I want to see if they will manipulate this structure. And you wait for the manipulation to be done. And once the manipulation is done, the trade now is now more confirmed than when it was not done. And you see, you make sharp profit. So <coughs> you need to be patient, my friends. Many people are not patient. Once this market is going to pull up to any of this structure here, they, they will just start going in without thinking of something that's going to manifest. Anyway, guys, we will see, continue working more on because your what will make you to be successful here is more of the ability to be able to 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 work on 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 setups so guys i want to wish you an excellent day and again whenever i send you a file in your telegram channel it must be something that i've told you about i cannot just get up one morning and just come and share anything that i have not talked to you before about I must first of all inform you that there is this thing I will share with you and I come and share. So just avoid that people try to, to take my identity, but they cannot have my account again because I've put enough security. I could not even imagine that somebody can hijack my Telegram account. And I want to advise you, don't click on links. Somebody send you a link, you click for Facebook. They said to, for you to get access to this video, Facebook want to confirm your identity. Lock into your Facebook account, you are dead. They, that is how they do to take your Facebook account. They send you a link. And when you go to that website, the website will tell you that you can connect to your Facebook directly from the website. And so when you connect to your Facebook through a third party application, which is not trust trusted, they will now collect your login to be able to go and log into your Facebook account. So your details must be collected using a third party website or application that's what this this scammers do now they go they have like they have like three students where they hijack their account any day i've when you when i discover that the activity on, on, without a facebook friend is posting is not deemed to that person i block the account like two or three of my students i think the account has been hacked because every day they send uh, some things like hook up girls they put girls with big breasts, big buttocks, knowing fully well that when you see it, you come and open it. Once you see it, you come and open it. They say, okay, Bamenda hook up or Dwala hook up. You click the link. When you go now to the link, they say, okay, log into your Facebook to have access to this page. Because you saw big buttocks and big breasts and you are willing to watch to see what is there. And you quickly log in to see what is there. They collect your, your Facebook account and they go now and they hack your account. That's what they do. They send you a link, make $3,000 online, uh, work, uh, this, this, there is no free money online. That's what I want to tell you people. Uh, make $3,000 a day, make $5,000 a day, make $10,000 a day, make $60,000 a day. All of those things are stories. If somebody really have a very easy method to make $1,000 a day, that person will not tell you. Because if that person tells you, you'd rather go and tell the family members who are poor and broke so that all of them will be rich before everybody in the world. So don't believe in all these things. 
uh, arbitrary trading in for this. I see huge, I see better, I see mature people promoting scams in Cameroon. Scam promotion is very normal. Some people call themselves coach and they, they are willing to promote nonsense for you to go and lose your money there. I really want to advise you, my friends. Uh, in Forex, I don't need you to make money. What I need is my child. In Forex, I don't need to refer somebody. This is one of the things, because when I started network marketing, I realized that most of the company I'll get myself in, people will end up being scammed. I asked myself a question. What can I do online without involving A or B? And the only thing that I came across was trading crypto or trading Forex. I can buy and sell on Binance without seeing the other person. I can trade on XNEX without seeing whosoever I'm trading with. I don't need you. I don't need any other person. You can make your money clean and prop. All what you just need to know that you need to use a trusted broker and a trusted crypto exchange. There are many other things that you could do online without involving one person or another. Anything that you need to bring a human head like you need to bring another human being for you to make profit. If a business model is just based on the fact that I must bring person, somebody, before I can end something, then something is wrong. So what they are interested in is another person. But if I have a business like Long Reach, I can go to Long Reach, buy my toothpaste, use it without it referring to another person. It's good. It's good for my health now. I can go to M Global, buy something, or so, uh, this uh, this stem cell stuff. Yes, I take for myself. I it treats me. I don't need you. It has benefit from. I benefited from the opportunity, health wise, without bringing somebody. But I want to tell you, most of there are some opportunity online that uh, they, you have to bring somebody to end something. So please, dear friends. We need to investigate anything we do. If not, we are going to be caught in scams and much more. Have a great day, everybody. Stay safe. See you tomorrow.